Hi, I'm Greg Perkins with Upgrades Bellas. You're watching the Bellas Bottom Line video version. Today we're talking about liners. Why they're important, why you need them sometimes. You need them when your flow velocity is high on the inside of, of your pipeline. Uh, a lot of applications, they, they're not necessary. Steam is one of those where you're almost always going to have high, high flow. And liners, uh, they, they'll protect your bellows. And I'm not just talking protect from a all, over a long period of time from erosion, but it protects it from causing the bellows to vibrate and, and causing a, one of the few catastrophic failure modes of a bellows, and that's that's when it hits its natural frequency or, or, or resonates, and and that happens when it gets a lot of a lot of internal flow. It could happen in external flow too, but in most cases, internal flow. For for a good example of that, you got to Google Telahoma Bridge sometime. And watch that video clip. Happened years ago. They built this bridge. The wind hit it just right or or just wrong. Uh, the bridge began to, uh, to 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 buckle up and down in a sinusoidal pattern, and it, and eventually just broke itself apart. Well, that's what can happen if you have high steam flow or, or, or high flow. And I'm gonna I'm gonna say high flow is anything over 25 feet per second uh, for steam. And again, that's something that you'll tell us and we'll tell you whether you need a liner or not. But Here's what happens to the bellows when there's not a liner. Picture yourself as a, as a steam molecule and you're shooting through the inside of a pipe and you come across a bellows that doesn't have a liner. And, and what's going to happen is you're going to hit your head on every convolution as you go by. Boom, 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 boom. Now picture yourself with a billion of your friends and you're shooting down that same pipe and you're all hitting your head against the inside of those convolutions. And you can hear, you can hear that, that bellows kind of vibrate just with, with that little that I'm doing right there. That's what happens if, uh, under high flow if you don't have a liner and that causes the bellows to vibrate and, and break apart. You don't want that. So the bottom line is when you order an expansion joint, tell us what your flow velocity is or we'll ask you what the flow velocity is and that's why we ask. And if it is over a certain rate, we'll put a liner in it and we'll size it correctly. This has been an Oak Ridge Bellows edition of the Bellows Bottom Line video. Join us at www.oakridgebellows.com for more videos and more technical articles.